the most dangerous thing in the Ash'ari Madhab. The spot of danger lies with those people in this issue. That they charge you with disbelief, even if you applied all the matters of doctrine, Tawheed, that the Prophet came with, that's not enough with them. Until you should deny what Allah described Himself and what the Prophet described Him. That Allah is not up, He's not in a direction, you should not believe that He has hands, otherwise you are affirming members to Allah. That He's assembled of members. So even if you apply all Tawheed, you're kafir. Until you disbelieve, deny that Allah is up over His throne. Now, you apply Tawheed. But wait a minute. Believing in Allah that He is up is a misguidance? Wait a minute. It's been narrated by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al-As that the Prophet Wasallam said they had no prophet that passed before me but he was obliged to guide his ummah, his nation, to what he knows that is good for them and warn them from what he knows it is evil to them. That's narrated by Muslim, hadith number 1844. So how did the Prophet leave us without warning us that believing that Allah is up is a matter of misguidance, even disbelief? Not only this, but the Prophet affirmed that Allah is in as sama He approved the belief of the concubine when he asked her, where is Allah? She said, he is in as sama up in the heaven. And here I show you the hadith in Sahih Muslim, translated into English. He told us that Allah is over his throne and that Allah raised up Isa alayhi salam unto himself. And that Allah comes to his servant when they say, this is our place here, waiting until our Lord come to us. Narrated by Muslim, hadith number 299. And he told us that the hearts of his servants are between two of Allah's fingers, altering the hearts by what he will. And he approved, and he approved what the Jewish rabbi said to him. We found, that means in the Torah, that Allah holds the heaven, the skies, on one finger, and the lands on one finger, and the water on one finger, and so other creatures on one finger. Did the Prophet say, you are Mujassim, you're making Allah buddy. No, he approved him on what he said. Narrated by Muslim, hadith number 2786. So all of this making the Prophet وسلم, anthropomorphist, Mujassim. Hmm, amazing. So as a result, we say, no matter what we apply the Tawheed of the Prophet, that's not enough. They have another Tawheed, which you have to apply. Even if the Prophet did not talk about it, you have to apply it. Otherwise, all what you applied the Tawheed of the Prophet and the Quran is vague, is in vain, rejected until you believe in what the philosophy, until you believe in the philosophic belief that Allah is not subject to the time, to the place, He doesn't move, oh, He doesn't speak. Um, his speech is not language, is not words, not letters. And that the Quran is a sign of Allah's speech. It's not Allah's speech, no. It's a sign. It's a symbol. It indicates Allah's speech. It is not Allah's speech. 
That's the Tawheed of the Ash'aris. So your Tawheed is rejected, according to them, until you apply their own Tawheed. See? That's why Imam Ahmad described such people that they are heretic. Assalamu alaikum.